Well, hello, Science9, and welcome to my little demo on bioaccumulation. Um, as you can see here, I have a bunch of variety of sets of cups set up. So what I'm going to use today is some Skittles, and they're going to represent my producer. So that beautiful organism in a food chain that produces its own food. Why? Because you can taste the rainbow with Skittles. So I went with Skittles. So what we're going to do today is we're going to simulate what happens when you go through the process of a bioaccumulation. So here in my little small cups, these are going to be what are called krill. They're just really tiny organisms found in the ocean. And they eat things like phytoplankton and seaweed. So uh, essentially two organisms that are producers. From there, my krill is going to be eaten by my small fish, which are represented by my blue cups. And then my large fish, such as like a tuna perhaps in the ocean, is going to be represented by my red cup. And then last but not least, in my white cup at the top of the pyramid there, is going to be representing the human. So what I'm trying to show you guys is how um, bioaccumulation occurs that as we move up the food chain, you are going to get concentrations higher in the uh, higher levels. So I'm going to start with my beautiful krill are going to eat some delicious food, maybe a phytoplankton, perhaps they ate um, some seaweed. And essentially, ladies and gentlemen, they are going to be contaminated with some toxins. That's what my beautiful Skittles are representing is the toxins. So I have inside my krill cups some toxins. You can see that. And hopefully you can count and that shows three. So in the activity you are doing, it asks you to record down the number um, of amount of Skittles in each cup. So besides the krill, you're gonna put three because every cup has three. Now you'll notice there are more cups in the first level than there is in the second level. And that's because there's more organisms in the first level because they're smaller. So what happens is, is this little tiny fish here is actually going to consume and eat two krill at lunch. I was really hungry today. The next one is gonna consume two more. And we're gonna continue this process all the way. So now my small fish has, if we take a look in here and we can count that, oops, sorry guys. Which way am I going to hold? You can see six Skittles are found in my small fish. So please record that. Now again, these small fish are going to be eaten because it is the other fish's lunchtime now. So we're going to allow the bigger fish to eat. So in goes the toxins as they get ingested. And now at my third trophic level, my large fish, you should be able to see how many Skittles there are. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so 12 in the large fish. We are now going to say that the human went fishing and decided to eat what they caught. And now ladies and gentlemen, you can see that I have a lot more Skittles. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four. I should have twenty-four in here. Okay? So you can record that number down as well. Now, once you have recorded those numbers into your chart, you are going to now continue on with the rest of the questions. So thank you for following along with my demo and hopefully you could see how from a small level to a large level, uh, toxins can accumulate.